Hi, welcome back to my channel. So, um, I have just, I feel like recently after starting my podcasts in public, um, built up the confidence to start filming in public and I've decided to go to one of the most central places that I possibly could. Um, where, like, to be fair, it is quite, like, early in the morning, so it's not going to be, like, a great deal of people here. But, uh, do you know what? I've been needing to get in the habit of, um, be, like, filming my everyday life. If I, because I do enjoy, like, uploading shit. And it's, like, I really, like, do do loads of, like, fun shit. And I think it's, like, um, part of what I'm doing at the moment. It's, like, just, like, a particular lifestyle is worth like filming because it's like super fun and like <laughs> I just do loads of good stuff so I feel like and also it'll validate me more to like um because I feel like sometimes when you film shit like you just you sometimes think you're like a bit crazy doing stuff and then you film it and you're like oh my god no I'm just like a completely normal person it literally kills my imposter syndrome and it kills my like um gaslighting in, a, in an adult um but yeah no it's like super fun so I don't know whether this will turn into like a day in the life it could do but I thought I'd just talk about particularly just like I have done so many podcasts I don't want to make this video boring and I also don't want to just like ramble on nothing and make no sense but I feel like it is generally important to do shit that you're interested in like and spiritually to delve into the areas that resonate with you and stuff like that but like to build your life around your beliefs and what's actually like got purpose for you and like passion for you rather than like externally what the world is telling you to do because it just won't it won't have sustenance and it won't have longevity if you're literally just like i think it's fine to have opportunities in places um and there are opportunities that sometimes couldn't be in alignment but i feel like a lot of my um things i've embarked on in the career path can often have come from places that you wouldn't expect and also I think I'd be much better being happy than not. I probably have, like, because I think for potentially, and I'm literally projecting here, but I can assume that, like, it is a societal issue, but also from the level of, like, you're, when you get raised by a narcissistic mother or a, pes sorry, a pessimistic mother, you tend to have, like, a really unhealthy worldview, like, uh, a, like a bad worldview. And if you don't face this as an individual, which most people don't know the fuck how to because they don't know that in general, they will end up attracting, like I'm not saying that everyone in, in, in like nine to fives are in the wrong place, but I'm saying for a lot of people, I can only assume, and that does include the spectrum of people in nine to fives as well, because they're not exempt from life's problems just because they're employed for a 40 hour week. <laughs> but like I can only assume that the vast majority of people that are, you know, um, like, <laughs> Uh, uh, like got this mindset of, of a pe of, of a of a of a, of a um, um, pessimistic parent um, are gonna have unhealthy path unhealthy um, you know relations to what the world means and you attract what you fear if you kind of rock up to a situation and you don't it's not for you it's like how the fuck are you supposed to know like I mean obviously yeah you'll leave but it's like, you know, we attract what we fear and if you're you're moving from a fear-based mentality, which many of us are, I can't lie, I can only assume and, you know, some people are blessed to have like a healthy upbringing where they're taught to trust their intuition, they're, trust, they're taught to um, serve their best alignment and their best highest self and those people often do quite, quite well in the job front or something like that but there's a lot of people that are literally abused throughout all of their entire lives sometimes even into their adulthood and they have to really put themselves back on the right track and it's like I'm not judging anyone no one is obligated to do anything for society but as a creative and as someone that you know I just want to do this it makes me happy do you know what I mean so yeah very exciting my first time filming outside and I don't even give a fuck either